So let's look at this question. Question one, what chemical reaction is taking place when a dipeptide becomes two amino acids? Relatively straightforward question. All you need to know that dipeptide here, di means two, and then two amino acids is obviously two amino acids. So we have a peptide which is of two amino acids length, long becoming two separate amino acids so that's just breaking it apart and every time you think about breaking it apart you have to think of the word lysis because lysis actually means breaking apart so in this case the correct answer is b let's look at the other answers and look at why they're wrong so a condensation condensation is actually the opposite of a hydrolysis reaction it's when you combine two things together and then it um, gives off water Whereas hydrolysis is using water to break the two things apart. It's not A. Uh, denaturation. So denaturation is a change in the shape of an enzyme, usually either by a temperature or by a pH, if it's too acidic or too basic, therefore causing a change in the function. So it's not denaturation. Finally, finally polymerization. Poly. Poly means many. So polymer means that you're creating lots of, uh, you're making a more complex chain of uh, molecules out of simple molecules and we're actually doing the opposite here we're making a complex molecule into a simple molecule so it's actually the opposite so it's not this one here let's look at the next question which of the following is a function of cellulose in plants so cellulose is a green um, complex carbohydrate that, that is found in plant cell walls and when we um, ingest that as humans then we can't actually digest that. Okay so let's look, go through some of the answers. Is it A storage of fat? Well no not really. So this is a, that's a red herring answer because it's got nothing to do with the storage of fat at all. How about B the formation of mitochondria? No once again not, not that. C, the storage of energy. Well, carbohydrates are a form of energy and cellulose is made of, out of carbohydrates. However, in this case, cellulose is not a form of energy. That's usually starch in plants, as well as glycogen in animals, so it's not C. The correct answer is D, formation of cell walls. I mentioned at the start of this question that cellulose is the main product which is found in cell walls and um, it's what gives it the rigid structure um, which prevents it from bursting. Question number three, which describes these molecules correctly? For, so for those of you who are a bit weak in your chemistry or your chemical structures, this question might be a bit challenging. But the bottom line is, let's look at number one first. So number one is giving us this ring structure and we have to count the number of you know, sides or the number of points to the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know that this one's an oxygen, but if we just ignore that for now, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can also count the total number of carbohydrates. Um, excuse me. You can also count the number of carbons and oxygens and hydrogens. And what you'll find is that this would give C6, H12, O6, which is our chemical formula for glucose. So straight away, we know that one is glucose. We can rule out A and C. So it's either one of these two. So how about number two? What does that show? Um, so this is a classic structure of, um, of a fatty acid. And I suppose like a bit of a tricky way to get through this is to, is to show you that, see how this little, there's an N there? That N means that there's a N number, so there might be three or seven or nine, number of these CH2 molecules. Anytime you see that N, then that means that it's fatty acid. Okay, so that's a fatty acid. So therefore we know that the correct answer is D. What, how about um, a, an amino acid? What would an amino acid look like? Well, that would look something like this. We have the R group at the top, as well as the C. And we also have the carboxylic acid on one side, the H here, as well as the NH2 group on the other side. So that's what an amino acid would look like, which is very different from our structure here too. So the correct answer is D. Question number four, which molecule is shown below? Once again, we've got another molecular structure. This time, let's count the number of sides to the ring though. We've got one, two, three, four, five. There are five, car five not five carbons, but five sides to the ring. And if we also count the number of carbons as well, if there's nothing here, if there's no 
uh, symbol here that means it's a C. So there's a C there, a C here, a C here, and a C here. So how many carbons are there? One, two, three, four, five. So it's C5. How many hydrogens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten hydrogens. And the number of oxygens? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five oxygens. And you have to know that anything that is C5H10O5, or most things that are C5H10O5, is ribose. And that's compared before with glucose, which was C6H12O6. Okay. So in this case, our answer is ribose. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.